Hey guys, today we are going to be drawing a pitch ceiling with beams. So if you want something that looks like this, um, this is the video to watch. The first thing you're going to do is, uh, again, create an RCP. An RCP is very important when you are doing anything to do with the ceiling design because it helps you figure it out before you start to try to draw it. So get that part done. I'm making this right wall blue and I'm going to highlight the left finishing point blue. So anything that's going to be parallel to the right wall, you're going to use the left finishing point. Anything that is parallel to the left wall, you're going to use the right finishing point. So that's why I made my left wall pink and it will come from the right finishing point. This is the profile of my pitch ceiling. So um, I'm going to count over on my RCP where the peak of this roof or the ceiling design will be. So there it is. I'm going to offset 9. I'm going to count over on my grid 9 and I'll make a dot there. Then I have to determine what my new ceiling height is. So if I started with 16 and now I've determined that I'm going to be at five, uh, 10 feet for the main, main level, I do I create a dot there at the 10 foot height. And then I'm going to use my left finishing point to make the new ceiling line for that 10 foot ceiling height. And then I have the pitch roof at 16. I'm going to use the left finishing point again to create that ceiling height. So now I'm going to connect the dot, the dots. And so this is where the peak will occur. Now, in order to finish it out, you have to make the, the ceiling height from the other side and then connect the dots. So there you see uh, the peak for this roof or the ceiling. And I'm going to go ahead and hardline my wall corners so that you can see it a little bit better. So if you look at my elevation I drew, now you can see it in perspective. That's what it just drew. Now the, we're going to be working on the beams. So again, there are pink lines that I've used to draw these beams. So I know that they'll come from the right vanishing point. So I'm going to use the wall to count over five feet or is it five feet? Yep. And then five and a half feet for my next set of beams. Then I'm going to draw that on my kind of elevation grid. And then I'm going to finish off with the last beam, five and a half over, and I will draw my beam there. So again, this starts our, um, it's our elevation on our grid. Then I'm going to use the right vanishing point because these are pink lines. I'm going to go to the right vanishing point and I will see the right side of the vertical plane there and then the, the bottom. Now all these lines will come from the right vanishing point because they're pink lines. So here you will start to see the right side of the middle beam. And then now you will see the bottom side of this middle beam. And then you'll see the right side of the beam furthest away and the bottom of that will start. So and there you have it. You have three beams and a pitch ceiling. Now it looks like a lot of lines but once you erase those lines that are not necessary you'll be better able to see the design. Now remember when you retrace this that you're not going to re-highlight that, that pink and green, um, blue highlighter. That was just to show you guys initially on my first trace uh, where the original ceiling line was. But um, when you redraw this or retrace this onto your real drawing, you are not going to highlight where the pink and blue line is. So now you have it. You have a pitch roof line and or ceiling line rather and three beams so that you can use in your design. I hope that helps you and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.